Welcome to GrowthToFreedom.com, the show that brings you inspiration, transformation, and leadership. We're helping you connect the dots, see the blind spots, and get unstuck so you can go out and generate more leads, more sales, more profits. More importantly, so you can go out and have a bigger reach, a bigger impact, and make a bigger contribution. All right, welcome to this segment of our show. Here's something to think about. You know, I get asked all the time, well, Dan, you know, if you were starting all over again, what would you really do? What would you focus on? And, you know, it's a complex question because there's so many things that, you know, lay into someone's success. You know, one of the first things I would do is encourage someone to go get experience working side by side, learning from another group of experts, because that can just shave off so much time. Then I would say that you'd want to start testing, right? And you can test small to then grow and build and all these sorts of things. Now, outside of that, here's one of the big mistakes I see that most people make is, you know, we think we're in one business and in reality, we're in another. And here's what I mean by that, right? What business is the National Football League in? Probably not the business you think. What business is Disney in? Probably not what you think. What business is Nike in? Probably not the business you think, right? Let me give you what I mean by this, right? Here, here's the truth. Nike, although it creates and manufactures shoes, is really in the media business. What they do, or the publishing business. If you look at Disney, they're really not in the entertainment business or the amusement park business per se, they're in the publishing business, right? Content marketing. Uh, if you look at you know, Apple, it's really not in the manufacture of goods, although they do that. They're in the publishing and media business. Right? And how would your business be shifted if you transformed your way of thinking to what some of the most successful companies in the world have done? Become a publishing business, become a media business. Well, you might go, well, Dan, well, that sounds all great and good, but how do I do that? I'm just this small business. I'm doing you know, X and I, I offer this thing. Here's, here's the problem. Most people fall in love with their product or their service. And at the end of the day, there are a couple key criteria to be thinking about as it relates. And I just want to share a couple things that are in my heart right now as we've watched over the years. We've been so blessed and fortunate to help over you know, 5,000 founders and CEOs like you uh, from over 180 industries and over 13 countries. And what we found, there's certain ingredients that work almost like baking a cake and there's also things that don't, right? So what are a couple of those things? So number one is to think about your market, right? Here's a big lie. Here's a big mistake most people make when they go out to their market. Number one, they go, I got to find a need and what? And, and you know the answer. You've probably heard this. Fill it. That's wrong. It's not about finding a need and filling it. It's a whole lot easier to find a want and fill that. What do I mean by this? You want to find, my friend Joshua says, you know, you want to find the aholics in an industry. What do we mean? You know, you know, there's a lot of people, for example, who need to lose weight. Well, instead of trying to go convince them that they need to lose weight, well, what if instead you went and found the people who want to lose weight and offer your product if that's what you offer. Or on the other hand, if you offer a health program, there's a lot of people who need that health program, but instead of focusing on those who need it, what if you focused on those who want it? You know, there's so much research in your market you can do. In fact, when we work with our private clients, we do a bunch of backstage research for them to identify like what exactly do people search on Google? And more importantly, what are they not searching? Because you'd be amazed at how many websites, how many things where the messaging on the site or the content or the publishing that's going on has nothing to do with peop what people really want. Is it any wonder that so many people struggle with being able to get clients or get leads or be able to sell their stuff when they're trying to convince a lot of people? For example, one of our clients right now is in this uh, tiny home business. Her name is Gail. She's amazing. In her business has experienced hockey stick growth. Recently, she said, Dan, can you with your team like slow it down just a little bit because we're working on the infrastructure operational things that we're working on inside. And part of the reason that we're able to drive so much for her and leads for what she offers and how appointments that are you know causing the phone to ring off the hook is because we are strategic in the market of knowing what they want. 
not trying to convince people what they need, right? How would that one simple idea shift the game for you related to your market? If you just focused on the aholics, what do people want? You know, everything you created publishing wise, content wise to that market was about solving the problem that they have and most importantly, want solved. And how do you know it? By what they tell you, what they're searching, what they're saying, how they say it, right? Not cute jargons and jingles and these sorts of things. Right, So it starts there with the market. The second big uh, thing to incorporate that can help transform your results, getting you new clients every day, getting you new business, and selling premium services, programs, and products that people want is to really go deep in, in these three layers. Your message. right? So if you know what your clients want, now you can put a message in front of them that connects to them that compels them versus convincing. So you wanna connect and compel versus convince. I hope that makes sense. Does that make sense to you? Well, I hope it does. So it, it starts with the message, right? Number two, beyond a message to bring people in and attract them to what you do, now you're gonna to move to like your offer, right? Most people don't take the time to structure an irresistible core offer. Now we don't have time to go through all the details of an irresistible core offer, but here's what I can share with you. If we work together, we would walk you through structuring your offer and all the pieces and things to it to make it appealing. Again, to compel someone to go, man, that's like money at a discount. I mean, think about the greatest offers. It solves a problem that you want solved. And typically there's some additional perks to it. You know, they say that people buy emotionally. They don't buy logically. They justify the decision logically, but they buy emotionally. So what is the emotional reasons that people buy from you? And more importantly, if you're not selling as well as you like, or you're not generating as many clients as you like, what is it maybe that you're not providing your clients emotionally and solving for them? Is it more of a need versus a want? Is it what you think they want versus what is? Focus on what is, because it is what it is, right? And it's a whole lot easier to put momentum in front of a stream than it is to try to swim upstream. Wouldn't you agree? So structuring your offer is really, really good. Now, by the way, I've shared a lot here in just a short period of time. If you'd like support, if you'd like help with your message, with your offer in structuring it. You know, we've got about seven key ingredients that we find in every successful offer when we work with a client. And you want to transform your message to really connect and compel people versus repel or convince people. And you want to really take a deeper, deeper scientific look at your market. And what do they want? You need help like that. That's what we do. Part of our service with our fractional CMO team is to be able to do just that, right? Because so many small businesses don't have the technology, they don't have the AI infrastructure that we do as a company to help clients. So guess what? You can lean on us, borrow our superpowers so we can help you have a bigger impact out there. If you'd like to go deeper to understand how we can apply some of this to your business, right? And, and be able to more clearly articulate your message, create a, a sexy, powerful offer that gets you more new clients, new business every single day, then click the button on the page somewhere here, schedule a coming, I don't know if it's over here, I don't know if it's over there, or below or above, somewhere on the page, schedule a consultation. It's pretty simple to be able to do. Now, we've covered some ideas on your market, find the aholics, find the people who want something solved. Number two is your message, really, Focus on your, so now if you know what they want, what is the messaging on your website and your emails and your content and your publishing that you can put out there? It just makes things go a whole lot simpler. Like the example I used with Gail. And I could give you dozens of other examples, right? The next piece is like now, once you've got the, the market, you've got a message, you've got an offer. Now with that offer, usually what we're talking about is you delivering an outcome. We call this deliver the boat. What does that mean? It doesn't mean like a boat, like you sail in a boat. It's B-O-T-E, Breakthrough Outcome Transformation and Experience. Well, what is the Breakthrough Outcome Transformation Experience you provide for your client? And then how do you deliver it? How do you fulfill it? Is if you really think about it, you have a unique method, whether you realize it or not, that it's a method that only you deliver the way you deliver it because it's personalized coming from you and or your team or your company and so on. 
What is that unique method? Not a jingle, not a slogan, but a unique method. You know, you could think of it in terms of like a three-step or a four-step or a five-step or a maximum probably seven critical steps that you take as you walk people through and fulfill on the promise that you've made to your clients. You fulfill on the message. What is that? Right. One of our clients we worked with years ago, it was in the car business. And, 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 and I might have this off just a little bit because it's been a minute, but it was we help you find those cars. We help you list those cars and we help you sell those cars. Three simple steps. What is your three simple steps? What is your simple five step process or seven step? I probably wouldn't go any longer than seven, but five to three to five is typically a good place to start. So what is your unique method in what you deliver to your potential perfect clients? Your perfect clients. Not just any client, but your perfect client. Premium service, product, program, etc. right? What is that unique method, right? And again, if you need help with this, you know, we actually do a one day training with clients where we take them and map all of this out and help them articulate and come up with a very simple three step or five step type of method, right? So. Whether you use us or you don't, what is your unique method? And, and look at communicating that to the marketplace to make it simple so they know how to help, how you help them, right? Next, so we've got market, we've got message, we've got offer, we've got method. Now it's the model. Like we just did this exercise with a group of clients in our program the other day and it was, it was transformational for them. Because, and we like to do this in the beginning of our work together, where you sit down and we help you map out your blueprint. You know, here's the products or services we've got. Sometimes it's one, sometimes it's five or seven. And we look at like, what are the products or services you've got or, and or what do you want, right? And then we go, okay, how much is this going to generate in revenue right now? And then how much do we want it to generate in the next 12 months? And then the key is to bridge the gap with the model or models that help fuel that. So many people are blind by this. They go, yeah, I want to, you know, I, I want a, a million dollar coaching business, or I want a million dollar mastermind, or I want a million, you know, a, a new seven figure, whatever, revenue stream to whatever it might be. But they don't really have clarity on like, what are they selling for how much, how many times a month or a week or a day? And then exponentially track that over a course of 12 months. And then, okay, how are we going to fill that with the models, right? And there's so many models and this is what makes it so confusing today. And I can, and it's not your fault, by the way, so many new platforms and technology makes it complicated, whether you're working on, you know, big blue or the Goog or, or the talk or whatever the heck it is, or the tube or whatever you might be deciding to use. All of these are like spokes into your model or models. It can get confusing. That's why lots of people choose to work with a company like ours. And whether you use us or you use someone else, the key is to have a system. And even if you don't work with someone like us, is you having the blueprint of knowing, okay, here's what we're selling. Here's what we charge for it. Here's how much revenue it produces when we sell it. Here's how many we sell every day or month or week or year. And here's what we want to go for in the next 12 months. And that can be also getting the first progress starts by telling the truth, doesn't it? Sometimes cutting out the products and services that are sucking our time. You know, it's like, I don't know how much you, you know, how many homes you've had. But one of the things when you do real estate investing, I found is that operation money suck, <laughs> right? Unless you have a very hard to find kind of budget. This is the limit of where we're going, right? Don't let marketing be operation money suck. Done well, marketing should be a huge multiplier for you in time, but it does take stamina. There's no such thing as a magic pill, a magic tactic, a magic bucket. And this is the big problem that, I, that are out there. We have found there are five key ingredients, five pillars, if you will, to get in place that all the most successful companies in the world, whether they're small or big or anywhere in between, use to transform their results. It's not a question of if, it's just a question of when it will work for someone, right? And that comes back to your market, it comes back to your message, it comes back to your offers, your method, uh, as well as the model. And then what happens? You have the ability to maximize your results, right? Because it's like putting you know, a coin in a slot machine and you pull it, if you're getting a dollar 10 for every dollar you put in, how fast and how often are you gonna keep putting it in and pulling it out? That's leverage, isn't it? 
and then having a system in place that's repeatable, rinse and repeat, right? Like the, the McDonald's, the franchise model. Well, done right, you can put that in place in your business. And it comes back to really getting clarity on these few things. And again, if you'd like help to give you insight onto your market and that depth of research and use our AI tools that we use for that or, or really look at creating a much, much more powerful new offer that compels people to go, yeah, I want it, it's irresistible versus feeling like you're having to sell it or you're looking at transforming your models so that you can add that next new additional revenue stream or jumpstart your current revenue streams exponentially, then I encourage you to take action with what I've shared with you. Number one, apply what we've shown you. And more importantly, if you'd like our help to help support you in some of these, then click on the link, click on the button on the page somewhere, take action, book a consultation where we'll go through and identify where you are, where you want to go. We'll talk about a custom roadmap for you and your, because here's the truth. Lean in just a little bit. Here's the truth. There's no such thing as an agency that has a one size fits all for you. I mean, you probably know this by now too, especially if you've gone through a couple agencies in the past, but if you haven't, no big deal. I'll save you some time. Most people don't have the first step, which is their roadmap and their growth plan. Let's help you through that. So you never make that same mistake that most people make or some people repeat over and over again. Number two is let's give you the pieces, the tools that you're going to need to be able to create the right marketing system so you can be freed up, so you can escape the day-to-day -day traps and you don't have to even be involved. One of our clients we're working with right now in the health space, uh, we got him so freed up in his business and he recorded a video for us. Uh, you can check out, there might be a link on the page here somewhere where you can hear it in his words versus mine, but here's a summary. I have more time on my hands than I know what to do. I feel like I'm not as involved in my business as I need to be because of how much we freed him up in the market, creating the marketing and selling system. It can happen. It can happen for you too. We didn't invent it, right? However, we've been able to work with a lot of clients just like you. So if you're interested at all in transforming your results to be able to help your clients get a, have a bigger impact, have a bigger reach, have a bigger contribution, hit the button below, schedule a consultation. Until next time, realize you're just one, one, one breakthrough away from getting to that next level. See you soon. Take care. Thanks for listening to this episode of growth to freedom.com. Are you struggling to get a steady flow of new clients every day or maybe hit a plateau or hit a wall in growing your business? Well, let's help you solve this problem today. Let's review your business and have a conversation. You can do that for free today at breakthrough strategycall.com. That's breakthroughstrategycall.com. In addition, if you're looking for a simple way to implement some of what we've been talking about in today's episode, then I want to encourage you to get our free small business toolkit. You can get that at activate.breakthrough3x.com. That's activate.breakthrough3x.com. If you'd like access to the special resources and all the show notes for this special episode, make sure to visit growth to freedom dot com.